Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we got ourselves an LML Duramax here throwing some Knox sensor codes. So here's what the codes were. There was a P2203, P2202, and a P11CB. So we went and went to Identifix, and this is what we have here. P11CB, P2201, it's not the same, uh, same codes exactly, but the P11CB is a performance code with Knox Sensor 1. So this will walk you through what to do. So you disconnect the Knox Sensor 1, and then check resistance between pins 2 and pin 3. One is a light green wire, one is a dark green wire. And the resistance should be 120 ohms, give or take 10%. So where our connector is, knock sensor number one is right there in the downpipe under the hood. The wire runs up back around the firewall and comes to this little box here. So this little red tab just pulls back and then there is a tab that you push down on and then pull it out. And then here's the connector. So the face of the connector is labeled one, two, three, four, five, six. And that correlates with the pins that you see on the um, pin chart for Identifix. So then what you wanna do is you take your multimeter, get some um, probes that'll fit in there so you don't stretch the pins out, trying to jam your connectors in. Set it to the resistance setting. And with key on, engine off, the first ones you want to do is the, is pin two and pin three. So a light green and a dark green wire. So if you go to the face, we have pin two right here. And pin three right here. So the reading should be 120 ohms plus minus 10%. Doesn't matter what lead you put where, you just want the resistance. So for this, we have 122 ohms. So that is within the 10%. So that circuit there checks out good. So next, you want to go to pin five and pin six. That is a light green wire and a dark green wire. So five and six are the other ones on this end here. So there is number six. There is number five. And again, you just want to measure the resistance of them. So multimeter on one lead, multimeter on the other. 120.7. So there, both of those circuits checked out good. Next, you want to plug the sensor back in and then start the engine and run it and back probe pin one, which is a purple wire the voltage will usually be 11 to 13 volts, so battery voltage. So right there we have pin 1. If you come around to the back, it'll be a purple wire. The color's faded quite a bit on this, but it is a purple wire. So you take your back probe, shove it in there. Plug it back in. I'm gonna set our multimeter to DC volts. Put the ground on the ground terminal, obviously. And then take our positive and hold it onto the, the pin at the back once the truck's running and we should see battery voltage there.
And we do, we have battery voltage. So I'm gonna shut the truck off, pull the back probe out, unplug the uh, connector again, because next we're gonna want to check ground at the tan wire on pin four. So directly below pin one, there's a tan wire, which is pin four. So again, we put the back probe in, Plug it back in, take the positive, put on the positive, take the negative, and then put on the ground. Make sure your back probe's in all the way. Put on the ground, and there we have battery voltage. We'll double check it with the truck running. There we have battery voltage at the ground side of the sensor. So now we know all the wiring and everything going to the sensor is good and the only possible thing that can be wrong is the sensor itself. So for changing the sensor, since you're getting a new one anyway, what I always like to do is just cut the wire, get a deep socket, I think it's a 7 8 or 22 millimeter, and then you can get a big Johnny bar on there and just crack her loose without having to fool around with the... Um, with the, the sockets with the slit in them, the sensor sockets. So let's get that sensor out and we will get it prepped for when we get the new, sen uh, new sensor, which I should be getting today. And then for the module, and there are two 10 millimeter nuts to hold it on. One's up top, one's up top here, and one's down at the bottom there. So there we go, we got the old sensor out. Just cut the wire, get a 7 8 deep half inch socket and a half inch ratchet. And yeah, she pops right out. So we got our new sensor here. You can see the threads already have a sealer on them. So you don't have to worry about putting never sees or anything like that on it. So let's get the sensor in, get everything back installed and plugged in. And then I will show you what you have to do from there to reset the uh, knock sensor one monitor and also just clear the check engine light so let's get that done all right we got our sensor installed you can see we still have our CO owner's manual blah blah regen nonsense so now we have to go into the scanner functionality tests output controls Knock sensor one, reset. Reset that. Reset completed. Clear codes. Now we got to take it on a little test drive and then after about 5-10 minutes that message should clear. Alright guys, there we go. Our uh, message is cleared. This truck is ready to roll. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give us a like on uh, Facebook, a follow on Instagram, and a subscribe on YouTube. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.